Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 a Middle uh, Project Middle Earth mod. There it is. Jesus Christ, my brain just shot off at the right at the start. I could have remembered if I properly introduced the previous video. I don't think I did. Huh, shame on me. Anyway, we're once again at the Lagfast, which is called Rune and Mordor. Troops will be arising everywhere. Just the delay is becoming more and more and more and more and more. It's just insane. Don't know why it does that. It's probably because of the amount of provinces, which is not that big. To be true, to be brutally honest, if I would compare it to actual Crusader Kings 2, and especially if I would compare it to the um. Um, what is it called? The uh, Geheimensnacht, the uh, Warhammer mod. The Warhammer mod has got a shit ton more on provinces, I think. So we gotta suffer through the lag once again. But we already made our movements, and it just ticks. One day, every second. Wow, every two, three seconds. Jesus Christ, it's getting worse. I need to look into this to speed it up for somehow, but I. I wouldn't know how. I don't know exactly why it just tanks the frame rate so much. Can't be just troop movement, because that is. Can't be that intensive. Must have to do something with assigning probably leaders to armies and something like that. That they are. The computer is just tanking data right now, because it is. Um. It's not graphically, because they're not changing anything, so it's purely CPU based. No, I don't have a terribly slow computer. I've actually got a quite powerful one. I say quite because it's not it's not like a uh, three thousand dollar or euro rig. Far from it. But it's good. But this is just getting more and more ridiculous. It's, it really becomes time to, to one of these empires to die, but I think the problem is if one of those dies that my pretty little ass will be next. I'll pause real quick. I want to check on something. I might have to do with the intense amount of red news that are everywhere. I've never seen this as much. But then uh, the again. I've also heard if you extend the timeline past uh, the intended date that the game tanks down as well, but that had to do with the amount of people existing in the game. I don't think that is could be the problem, but it might be because there is this shit, this huge amount of vassals and that are their armies pop up and their leaders get attached to it and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. It's um. Thing is, it's the first three minutes is worst of it. It's um, I'm just looking at the recording timing, and since they kicked off about the same time, so it's about the first three minutes. It's about the worst of it. After that, it just starts slowing, speeding back up. So I don't know really what it does during that period of time, but it's probably the AI thinking about a lot of stuff. Actually, I just noticed something. Arno is still alive. It's right there. I knew it at this capital, but I thought that was the only thing they had left here. I don't know about Gondor, though. Is Gondor still alive? He's an ally of you. Allies. Okay, Gondor is still there. Where? So the Empire exists. Yeah, this is the Jure. Wait, the Jure speaking, the lands of Rohan are part of the Empire of Gondor? Don't let him hear that. Well, he's got a lot more than I thought. Three tribal lands and a lordship? Where the hell does he have it? So he holds still some land here. So there's just 
small stuff that is not properly con conquered yet. Penneth and Nguyen. Um, what the hell? Oh, there! He still owns that, of course. He owns a little bit of land there. So the sub stuff is part of Gondor. <laughs> it's weird, why did they not conquer that? Probably because, does Sauron not have a claim on her or something? Because I think Sauron um, gains claims on nearly everything. At least when you look at it, if you... Pause the game, thank you. When you look at it, this guy, though he's becoming capable, has nearly claims of everything. I wonder. The reason he might not declare war on the dwarves because he's not a claimant. Well, he isn't. I think that explains everything. He's just been pressing his claims. So we finally got this piece here. That means we're gonna go for this piece here. I've also decided to kick their shit out of the elves. <laughs> they don't deserve it, man. They've been dying. Not this kingdom here. Um, Lind Lindon will remain for some time. They're not interesting. Um, but if Rivendell is part of this um, region here, I will kick the shit out of it. Um, come on. There we go. So there's two provinces here. Not too bad it isn't. But eventually they'll, they'll kill off. They die. They go out. They will be interesting wars though, because see they fight about the same strength as a dwarf. Give or take. And his empire strength is fifty one thousand. I don't even know what my strength is. Yeah, yeah. Sindar and Nandora. Noldor are even better. Ridiculous. What is it? Uh blah blah. We gained the lands of Anduin. Do we gain everything? Kind of stupid if it didn't. So this oh right, we gain everything. Good. Um you get over there. You um oh, right, war. Oh, orcs in my realm. Well that not treaty orcs are in it. It's trees, people. It's just trees. Nothing to worry about. Okay, good. Can't wait. For a lot of stuff. Now let's look at this war. Dark Knight Sauron, 4% advantage. He's attacking. So Ron is attacking Sauron and is or a slight loss right now, but it's probably because it's this t little territory gain over there. I think the true fear is to be had from. Um, Dark Lord Sauron. Colonize. Yes, civilization shall rise from the ruins. Thank you. So Donkron can be built. Wait, no, Donkron cannot build. Verdoagual can build. Stop building your fortified barracks. We'll create the title. That means that you. Wait, we should not give him the title just yet because we need to fix this colonization issue. Because I think the AI colonizes properly, but I don't want to risk it. Now, can I declare war on you? For being... Yes, already have the claims. Good. We'll attack it there. Split it up again. For your separate race. So, that is part one of our claims done. You can start moving in this region. if. We can move you yet? No, we can't. Okay. Okay, so that. So I absorb a lot of titles again. Pause. I don't think most of my. Pause, I said. Damn you. I don't think most of my realm is not really bothered with me having too much territory. They don't seem, at least. Yeah. We'll see soon enough. 
But at least that is this colonization effort done. Now we just need to finish the, well, colonization effort, but I mean the territory is within our reach. Well, that reminds me, I actually need to assist my son. Oh, he's actually upgrading itself. Good. He's doing the stone statues, though, which is not the smartest idea. I'll send them everything they need, of course. Okay. Now I'm trying to keep the eye on us because this no water system is something I need to fix. I don't really need to, but I want to. Yeah, it's got a lot of money though. I don't know how he got it. We'll adopt his ideas. We're running out of speaking of money, we're running out of cash. These claims are expensive. I'll somehow figure a way out to um, get more claims quicker. Um, like claim on the entirety of what is Mordor, which will be prob probably mean that I could Let's see, Scourge of Mordor. It's surely considering actually quite a lot of piece of its territory. You could get a claim on this. <laughs> that would be epic. Anyway, let's keep on rolling. But you're still working on it. Not too quick. So we might need to slow down a little bit soon with the fabricating of, of claims. Because we're, yeah, we're gonna hold on. We're gonna hold on it. Um, we make a lot of money though, but if we're... It's not really a problem if we get the claims quick. Uh, I mean, every year a claim is not... Actually, that is a problem. We make 56 a month. That means that if it costs about 7... It's about 800 by now. We need, some, we need a year and a half, actually, for us to finance even the claims, just the claims. Now we still need to do the colonization bits. Um, so yeah, this is slightly, slightly more tricky. Slightly more tricky. So, this is not done yet. Hmm. Come on. How's this war going, by the way? 7% in favor of Rune. Wow, they're having fucking bad luck. Ugh. Yeah, well, actually, it seems that for some time my, ah, my building plans are going to be on a on hold for for now this kingdom will flourish I'll know it actually he's already making money good for him he's at war though what the Oh, so you are uh, doing a shit job. What the fuck are you attacking, mate? Oh no, that's not. That's me. I thought you were in a personal war. I was like, what the hell? What the hell? I'll be brutally honest. I don't really mind my people going on wars on their own if that means that they can conquer the territory. I don't think dwarves are really that aggressive in the first place, though. But, fine. Jesus Christ, we killed a lot of orcs. A lot, a lot of people in that province. They consider it orcs. It, it's not orcs. And that's a province error. Uh, naming it a bit in error here. In B something. At a county capital. I think the reason why this, by the way, is not working out is because we are at war. Send the fucking demand, will you? Or accept this one. 
conquer anyway. It means all wars are over. This, I mean, this province will finally fucking colonize on its own. Hand it off. Okay, now wait for you to finish your job. There we go. Told you. And we'll colonize that. Civilization will rise from its ruins. It means that we can give you. Grant. What's a vice royalty? Ooh. How about no? Including lower titles. It's called Anduin. It's called by the river. Um, yeah. Is this where the end doing somehow? I don't know. The river. I thought it was a river, the river Randwin. Holy shit, that is unexpected. He must have had a claim on. This is highly unexpected. First of all, two of you are going to fucking retreat. Let me check this real quick. You had a claim or something. I'm on Mythland, which is... What? This piece here. You had a claim on it. You never... But you never... Wait, you don't even have a claim on it? It's just an invasion. How did he justify this war? One of it is, mate. You're not even a claimant. No, you're not. Just can. What the hell? Yeah, I get it. So there is. Holy shit! This has got to be an issue. Well, first of all, let's raise up you. Let's raise up our vassals. Let's raise up everything we can. Get gather it in a place right over there. All of you go there on the defense. Nobody likes me for that. Okay, a big war. That's surprising. To say the least. We are though performing fairly well. Look at that. Look at that. He's taking out a huge army. This might be a good time to check what their culture is. Their culture is Sindar. And a lot of wilderness, actually. <laughs> Dipshit did not colonize everything. And Sindar, according to this, is 400%. So they are roughly about the same strength as us. They've got the same um, racial issues. But we've got a mountainous defense bonus that will, if we fight defensively, shoot. Be a good thing. And there's the rest of the army slowly moving in. With eight. Ugh. Slowly being the key word there. I don't know if I'm. I should, by the second my ram size, I should be able to win this war. I'm not really sure it is the case. Oh, wait, this actually did work, even though we're at war. Huh, I'm surprised. Um, that's me now, I bet that you are gonna get more land. Yeah, we'll just keep doing it. Uh, numerador. Including lowers. Still got right, yeah, there we go. Alright. I'm wondering how big my army is. Actually, reminds me. What the? Holy shit! Is this because we became an empire? I did not check it. Oh my god! 
This is going to be slightly expensive though, so... I actually cannot afford to create this army in its entirety. So where is this big stack? There's 29,000 here. I might actually be able to beat this. How much money am I making? Oh, I'm actually losing money. I should not have done that. Wow, I cannot run this army. I'm the richest motherfucker I know and I cannot run this army. Oh, we need to win this war real quick. If he loses, what do we get? Oh, we got a lot of cash actually. That shoot. So we can run a deficit of nearly um, 2,000. So he is currently considered winning. I think that is a bit premature. Alright. Well, you can't do something like raising war taxes. We, should, we lost a lot of troops getting over So we got a 35,000 stack. Actually, this is going to be tricky. We're about even in strength according to this. Oh, that is just bad. That's bad timing if I've seen it. Uh, Alright, well, let the Orc Rebellion run rampant. They'll never be able to truly become a threat though. But right now we cannot spare the soldiers. We should be fine on troops. This guy moves in. Come on, just keep on moving. It's so sl slow. Look more, they raised like a second round of short soldiers. We're making money again. Because of some attrition. Huh. Strange. And now we're losing, now we're gaining. Ah, oh, come on. I'm losing a lot of small fights somewhere. Oh, that's the stuff, which is barely existent in the first place. Wait, his main stack is gone. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, we, we've got more than enough soldiers to do this. We're gonna kick the living daylight out of this guy. So... This is gonna be good. I hope it is, at least. Now, come on, move in. Just arrive, for God's sake. There we go. The army is here, so I'm gonna cut the video here. I'm sorry, because this is gonna probably take more episodes, but I'm gonna cut the video here. So, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time. It's gonna be exciting.